Okay, a 1975 Yamaha DT250. If you look at it now, it looks brand new. All the way across, down to the engine. New paint everywhere on the frame, fenders, all the way through. New seat cover, new blinkers, new gaskets in the auto loop pump, new tires, a new left hand control switch. Um, we took it all the way down to the frame, came all the way back up. The, uh, the great thing about this bike, although it was sitting in a barn for 30 years, is look at the rims. Not a speck of rust anywhere. Fork tubes, nice all the way up. The engine, like I said, we took it all the way down and cleaned it, painted it, and even shaved the, uh, the fins on there. So they look nice. Um, the original Kickstarter had some broken chrome on us, so we got a new one of those. Um, new bolts on the bottom of the right here of the foot pegs. Uh, the the gas tank for sitting so long they didn't take it uh, or drain all the gas. It had some pinholes in the bottom, so we had to braze all those up. Got a new uh, fuel petcock. Paint all the way down through there. Uh, new badges there, and of course on the tank after the paint job there. New seat. These are the original chain and sprockets. You see they still have plenty to go. It's only got 3,022 miles on it. But one thing we didn't redo is we didn't restore the gauges because, you know, the mileage on it. Um, like all Yamas, I don't know why. But a screw came out of this side and it's down here, shifting around. Other than that, everything works on it. Uh, like I said, new blinkers as well, new seat. Underneath the seat, I keep this rag here if I want to check the oil. But uh, everything's brand new here, all the way across. That's the original bag, it was in pretty bad shape, so we cleaned it up and uh, had to put some uh, tape on it and <laughs> get it back in shape. Uh, put the rag back down in here I have the sticker that was on there but uh, when we painted it you know it just came off so underneath the seat all redone okay and everything on the bike works great oh yeah and we put uh, those new rear foot pegs on there but from the shocks oh but how bad those were brought those back like I said we wanted to use all original parts if we could now you can see real nice on the engine, the sun's not in your way. To, uh, like I said, we even got the fins done all the way across on it. So, let's, uh, let's crank it up. Oh, of course, I think I said the new petcock. Yeah. <laughs> so, turn on the gas. Mm. Ah, still a little cold. I only rode it about a mile. All right, so I found out also with this big bore 400, you know, they've got all sorts of compression. Oh, which reminds me, we took out the, uh, the automatic compression release above the exhaust. And uh, that was all gummed up. Took it off, cleaned all the carbon alphabet, new o ring, put it back in. I think we still need to adjust the idle up a little bit. That's right, so there's the bike right there. Nice, smooth, runs like a champ. We don't have the key for this. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is new too. The, uh, the ignition switch. So I don't have a key to the side there. There you go, blinkers on there. And blinker on the other side. Horn. High. Low. 
It's just a great running bike and it's a great looking bike. And initially, I had the same problem with this. I had one before and I got rid of it because, you know, whenever you lock the gas, it does that, that jerking, uh, you know, when it's, when it's uh, revving down. But we had a V8E9 in there, uh, or, or a V8ES NGK in there, and it was a too hot of a plug. But the factory recommends the uh, B9. So the same thing on this, and I put a B9 in it, made all the difference in the world. Runs smoother, it decelerates it's much smoother when you let off the gas and let it go down. So um, yeah, if you, if you have a 75 or 76 DT400, and I've seen on the forum people are experiencing that. Change the plug to a B9 and it'll make all the difference in the world. You know, it's a nice tight engine. You get all that gas, it only goes so high on the RPMs. Okay, shut off the gas. I would shut it off first, that way uh, it'll leak a little bit out of the bowl or it takes some out of the bowl and it'll be easier to start next time. So, there we go. It even has the original sticker where it was bought. Uh, in Wichita, Kansas. Kawasaki dealer sold Kawasaki and Yamaha. Okay. And, of course, the off-run switch. There it is. Hope you enjoyed the video.